All right, we're going to talk about how to convert a fraction to a percentage. So there's a couple of different options. And the first one we want to talk about is, is you're going to make an equivalent fraction with 100 in the denominator. So let me, probably easiest if we just go through an example, really. Uh, let's get, start with this one here. We've got one fifth. So I'm going to write that as an equivalent fraction that has 100 on the bottom. Remember, the denominator is the number on the bottom. So I'm going to look at this and say, all right, well, how did I get the 5 to become 100? So in this case, I just simply multiplied it by 20. So if I did that on the bottom, I've got to do the same across the top. So I start with a 1, multiply by the 20, and end up with a 20 as my numerator. So 1 over 5 and 20 over 100 are what we call equivalent fractions. They're the same thing. One fifth of something is the same as 21 hundredths of something. They're equivalent to each other. Okay. Now, how do we get that into a percentage? Well, a percentage is something over 100. So I look at the number in the numerator. In this case, it's the 20. The numerator is our percentage. So the number on the top, so in this case, the 20 is our percentage. So the percentage is 20%. So 20 over 100 is 20%. Okay. One fifth, I've taken my original fraction and I've converted it now to 20%. Let's do another example just to make sure we've got the idea. 13 over 20, I'm going to write that as an equivalent fraction with 100 in the denominator. I took the 20 and to make it 100, I had to multiply it by 5. So what do I do on the bottom? I have to do to the top. I take the 13, I multiply that by 5, and you can do that in your calculator if you get stuck, and you get 65. So the number on top now, 65 over 100, is 65%. Okay, that's option one. Option two, if you want to do it this way, you can convert it to a decimal first and then multiply it by 100. I'm going to use the same examples, and we're going to use option two and just see if we get the same results. One fifth is what we started with. Now, if I I know from previous work that a fraction is division. So one over five means one divided by five. I do that in my calculator. So I just go one divided by five and I get an answer of 0 0.2. I take that 0.2 now and I just times it by 100 because I take the decimal, I multiply it by 100 and I get 20. And if I have a look, 20% is the same answer that I got in the first example. So I know that that worked okay. Let's check the second example. Does this option two still work? 13 over 20 is the same thing as 13 divided by 20. Do that in my calculator and I'm going to get 0 0.65 and now I just times that by 100 and I've got 65% which was perfect. It's exactly what the previous one looked like as well. So that is how we convert fractions to percentages.